up on his face. leg. Well, we'll take him over to Shades of Hope have him take a look. Shell seems okay. Something's going on down there. They look like dinosaurs to me. It's a typical Friday morning. We're on our way to Shades of Hope to do our volunteer work. And Emily and I spotted this turtle on the side of the road, this big snapping turtle. We're maybe a kilometer away from the wildlife rescue. And something didn't seem right. Like his leg wasn't working. He seemed dehydrated and weak. Uh, he definitely has a bit of a wound underneath his carapace on his sort of near his leg, uh, underneath his shell. Um, so we loaded him up into the trunk of my car and we're driving real slow so he doesn't get uh, shell shocked. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good one, Dad. Good one, Dad. <laughs> Hashtag dad joke. Um, anyways, the experts there over at Shades of Hope, they'll be able to figure it out and maybe give him some treatment and we'll probably be releasing them back into the creek uh, at the end of the day. So stay tuned. I'm back here? Yep. Oh yeah? Yep. Okay, how do I hold them? Further back or base of tail on the shoulder. Look at that. Here and here, and then you can't get your fingers. Now I know. But they can curl their tail in and crush your hand between their shell and your tail. Oh. First okay. Time I snap, or that happened to me. Oh, yes. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, or you have to be right at the back, like here. Like real far back? Yeah. Whew. Yes. Okay. So we, are, we found him literally on the side of the road a kilometer from here. Okay. And he was just kind of frozen, and it looked like mm -hmm. his, he was having trouble with his one back leg. He's got a bit of a abrasion underneath by his carapace and his eyes look a little weird. But I'm not really a turtle expert, so. <laughs> like, yeah, we're close by, let's load him up and we'll see. First comes worse, we'll release him again. So, it's another Friday. Uh, we just arrived at Shades of Hope, uh, like two minutes ago, maybe. Um, so we ended up getting out of the car and um, going to check it out. He has a few uh, cuts on you know, it's tummy and um, my dad said maybe something a little bit wonky with the eyes, but clearly not walking properly. So now we're here and he's currently inside with my dad and Sarah, uh, one of the vet techs here. And he hopefully will be receiving some medical care shortly and then we can um, release him after not too long. So it was very funny. We were coming up here today and the whole time I was thinking, I feel like there's gonna be some good stories today. I feel like I should, you know, pull out my phone and start filming. And about 30 seconds later is when we saw the turtle. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just funny.
this guy came in last night. Obvious fracture to his right front uh, appears to be the uh, tip fib, basically the forearm, as well the elbow right here. It feels very crunchy and very unstable. So we'll do some x-rays, see what's going on. So yeah, it feels like high up on the radius ulna, which is fused on these guys. Okay. Right? Yeah. Ours is uh, separate. It allows us to, uh, yeah. to, to pronate and supinate. Yeah. But these guys, their radius and ulnas are fused, so they can't rotate. Right. And I think it's going to be multiple fractures, like mm. well, Okay. probably I'll have to go to a specialist. So we're going to uh, try and reduce it and line it up, throw on a cast, and if it looks good, then great. And if not, if we can't get it to line up properly, then they'll send it off to a specialist oh, yeah. for uh, advanced orthopedic surgery. It's going to be hard. Lose the feeling once this is on. Just put a little Feel it through in. that, yeah. Really and maybe thin. we could pull a bit and stick it on the, yeah. just the sides, right? And then put it directly on, you mean? Or? Something good, something, something. You may follow your stay, or I am very funny. But if you say it with sarcasm. You are very funny. So why are you sticking cotton swabs in the, in the deer's cast? <laughs> so we've lined up the bones one way, but underneath the uh, splint, it's still coming up a little bit medially towards the inside. So we're trying to apply some pressure on the inside to push that push that fragment back down into place. I found the uh, natural Dr. Cliff in his, his natural habitat. Eating uh, all the berries and the, the good foods. I never knew that this is how they put on cats. No, me neither. What you got there? I got a snapping turtle. Yeah, how'd you got it? <laughs> we found her on the side of the road. We thought she was hurt. I learned two things today. One, this is how you hold them. You don't pick them up the way I did before. Face of the tail and underneath, because they can turn their head more than half way around the length of their shell and bite people when they hold them wrong. And two, I also learned that she wasn't hurt. She was most likely digging a nest. So we're going to return her to the exact same spot so she can finish her job and lay some eggs. Yay! Ah, not too close. Well, the car was started. We were on our way out. Uh, they came out running after my dad, basically saying that um, there is a seagull with a hook that's, I think, down its throat. Close to being home, <laughs> and then they pull you back in. 